Hello, man. This is George Meyer. I'm Philip Lee. And this is Manforge. Today we're talking about forgiveness, pain, and trauma. The Bible has a lot to say about this. Uh, starting with a, a reference in Matthew chapter 5, it's talking about bringing our gifts to the altar. It begins that murder begins in the heart. If you bring your gift to the altar and remember that you have ought against your brother or he has something against you, you're supposed to leave your gift, go reconcile with your brother, and then come back to offer your gift to God. As we bring our gifts to the altar, we need to examine ourselves. All right? The Bible talks about that. We need to forgive. We need to live uh, with forgiveness. So the first question, who are the people that have hurt you? And are you to a point where you can pray a blessing over them, even though they've hurt you? You might not trust them all the way, but can you pray a blessing over them? Yeah, why, why do we have to forgive people? The main thing is when we forgive, it sets us free. We're, it's not re, like unforgiveness is poison. So if we don't forgive, we're taking poison and expecting the other person to, to suffer. And if you don't forgive, everyone knows you're the one that suffers. Yeah. And I think long story short, God just likes to have a new start over. Um, he's a God of new stars. He's trying to recover all of his perfect creation, even in our journey of redemption after Jesus died, gave us the blood uh, and the privilege to enter the throne room in the name of Jesus. So we really have to uh, master this muscle, for, for spiritual muscle for forgiveness um, only after we understand the personality of God. That's true. It's from him. We take on his nature. He forgave even those people nailing them to the cross. How can we not take on and be one of his disciples without assuming that nature? Yeah. Even looking at the Lord's Prayer, like, give us this day our daily bread. Forgive our trespasses as we forgive those that trespass against us. So this is a, this is a part of our daily life. This is something executed probably multiple times a day. And, you know, <laughs> anyone who's been married, uh, it, it's probably multiple times a day with, with your spouse. It's ongoing, all right? Yeah. But even First Peter 3, 7 says that if we're not in right communion with our wife, we won't read the scripture reference now, but it can actually hinder our prayers. Prayers are actually hindered if we're walking in this unforgiveness or holding grudges against people. Yeah, we do have to forgive as God forgives, or we would not be forgiven. And that's the bottom line Jesus has set out, really, in the plea bargain deal of salvation. We really need to understand what Jesus' blood is to his believer. It's not a blank check of we do whatever we want. There are always conditions attached to plea bargain deals and pardons. At least we have to confess what we did that's not right and um yeah conform our lifestyle choices and commitments to the conditions of plea bargains so we can be fully protected and so that's it so if we're not fully protected in our lives we feel blessings aren't flowing necessarily god's wholeness or shalom nothing wanting nothing broken um nothing lacking is not exactly there. Uh, check our lives. There may be forgiveness issues or trauma, disturbing experiences and wounds in our hearts and mind um, that always lead to some physical impact. So trauma, it's not sometimes it's things that just happen to us or things that happen around us. And those things are not necessarily sin in and of themselves, but it, what's our reaction? You know what I mean? This evil thing happened to me. Yes, I had nothing to do with it, but did I? Res did I, how was my response? Did I respond the way Christ expected me to, or now am I holding a grudge against that person? No matter what it is, there's some traumatic things that happen, but we're still required to forgive. Even we had nothing to do with it, 
the, the sin was committed maybe on us or towards us, but we still are required to forgive. So that's the next question. What event in your past created any type of massive pain, fear, rejection? And have you surrendered that to Christ and detached from that past so you can move forward yeah. with your future? And I just want to clarify what biblical forgiveness is. It's not a blank check or the crazy idea that we need to immediately reconcile with the perpetrators. Um, no, those things, reconciliation, take trust building. It's a process, but, um, but it's a process of bringing God's righteousness and right order back into life. Um, and forgiveness essentially is admitting that vengeance is God's. It's not ours. Um, Jesus prayed that remission of sin purse on the cross and vengeance came about 40 years later on Jerusalem. Vengeance is God's. And Paul, uh, Apostle Paul, was later on transformed by God because Stephen prayed that forgiveness prayer and gave vengeance to God. And God instead grabbed Paul to serve in a capacity that Stephen would have served. So yeah, that's forgiveness. It's not, it's not some um, soft, wimpy, give up call on pursuit of justice. On the contrary, it's giving God a full reign over the pursuit of justice and recovery and healing. That's it. And as a part of that recovery and healing, in Ezekiel chapter 36, it says that the Lord will give us a new heart and new spirit, replacing the heart of stone with the heart of flesh. That's the end goal. We Stuff happens. We need to forgive people. Stuff happens to us beyond our control. Forgive people. And lastly, last question, ask the Holy Spirit, is there anything else keeping me from all you've called me to? All these things keep us attached and controlled and set, stuck in the past instead of moving and advancing forward into our future. Yeah. And ultimately, our lives are ours. God will not force us to do anything. So the amount of healing we want, the amount of recovery we want, the amount of justice of God we want in our lives, it's up to us. It's not up to God. God has no problem, no issues. Um, he would not live our lives for us. So that's the end of the day. And that's really what we have to consider. So this, just, this is a foretaste dealing with forgiveness, pain, and trauma. The three questions. Who are the people that have hurt you in any way? And can you pray for them, pray a blessing for them now? And what event in your past created massive emotion, pain, fear, or rejection? Have you turned that over and detached from your past to move forward into your future? And lastly, ask the Holy Spirit, is there anything else that's keeping you from your future and everything he's called you to? That's all for this session. This is Manforge. We'll see you Monday, 8 p.m. here at the church.